In the hyper-animated shoot-'em-up world of Japan's video game arcades, the player has gone from pre-teen to retiree. When we look around, we see a lot of people who are about your same age. Why? Because it's fun here, says Teiro Kataoka. He's 70, and so is his wife. We're bored, says Suneko Kataoka. We have nothing to do. I don't have anything to say to my husband anymore. It's much better to come here than just sit in the house watching TV all day. We need some excitement, too. So many gray-haired gamers gather here that this arcade has morphed into an unofficial senior center. You guys met here? Of course we did, he says, pointing out the game that meets here every other day. Games are good to prevent dementia. A clear trend spotted by the corporation that owns this arcade. Now pushing senior days, building more pinball, coin-generated games, and marketing easy-to-use point cards. Are you purposely making this more analog to meet the needs of an older population? Hi, I know. That's right, says Sega's spokeswoman. In Japan, the trend is to use the mobile phone to collect points, but we're using paper because it's senior-friendly. If you think getting elderly people to play video games is a crazy idea, well, consider this. For every child in Japan, there are two elderly people. In 50 years, that number will grow. For every child, there will be four elderly people. It only makes economic sense. Japan is aging faster than anywhere on the planet, with a birth rate at historic lows. The arcade is just one example of a once youth-focused industry shifting to meet the population reality. Do you think it's at all weird, though, to see so many elderly people in the arcade? No, it's not that weird, say these 16-year-olds, as long as the seniors stick to their games. If you saw them playing one of the shoot 'em up games with a gun or with a sword, would that be weird? Yeah, now that would be weird. But no telling, says the video game industry, what the future of this graying nation holds. Hyung Law, CNN, Tokyo.